Hey everyone, it's Michelle back with another video and today I'm going to be doing kind of like a part two to my last pore strip video. It was titled how to make your pore strips work better. If you haven't seen it, I will link it in the cards. I just wanted to make this video to kind of clarify things. I know people had a lot of questions. In the last video, I used Biore's regular white strips, but this time I decided to try it with their charcoal strips. So I'm going to be showing you a little tutorial on exactly how I make these pore strips work better so that you can get more gunk out of your nose. Also, if you love watching people peel off nose strips, then this video is for you. Another thing that I really wanted to mention is that the little straggly things that the pore strip is pulling out are actually called sebaceous filaments. Those aren't actually blackheads as most people call them. But if you want to learn more about the difference, I found this article on this website that explains it perfectly and I will leave a link to it in the description box below. Also, I am barefaced right now, I have no makeup on and that's simple simply because I did not want to wear makeup today. I just wasn't feeling it. And no, this video is not sponsored. The last video was not sponsored. I'm just trying to share my experience and the things that I have learned and try to help some other people out. Also, please make sure that you watch this video entirely before you go and try it yourself. There is going to be a lot of information in here. It's a lot of necessary information. It might be a long video, but you can fast forward it. And some other necessary information that I want to mention is that I am not a dermatologist. I'm not a doctor of any kind. Everything that I'm sharing with you guys is based on my own experience, my own knowledge, my own research. Without further ado, let's just get on with the tutorial. So to begin, the thing that I do that makes a huge difference is exfoliate my nose with a baking soda paste before putting on the strip. I like baking soda because the grains are so fine that it gives a very deep exfoliation to make it easier for the strip to cling onto the dirt and oil in your pores. So I always use a strip after I take a shower and wash my face, but because I don't take very hot showers, I hold a hot towel compress to my nose for about a minute because the heat will loosen up the dirt and oils and make them easier to remove. But if you already take really hot steamy showers, you can probably skip this step. Once I do that, the next step is to make the baking soda paste. So to make the paste, I take my spoon and scoop a tiny bit of baking soda. You don't need a lot. I'm not sure if this will work with baking powder. I haven't tried it myself. Then I take a drop of water and mix this with the baking soda to create the paste. If it's still powdery, add another drop of water. But if it's too liquidy, add more baking soda. It should look like this. Then I rub this paste on my nose gently. Do not rub too hard because the baking soda can be abrasive. Also, if the paste is irritating your skin or your skin feels like it's burning, rinse it off immediately. I'd recommend doing a patch test beforehand if you're worried about it reacting badly. But if you're okay, after about 15 seconds of massaging it into your skin, rinse it off with warm water. After this, as you can see, the sebaceous filaments are really popping out of my pores now. I do have very large pores due to genetics, so yours might not look as bad as mine, in which case, consider yourself lucky. Now I completely dry off my hands, and do not dry your nose, keep your nose dripping wet because that's the only way that the pore strip will stick to your nose. Then you can take your pore strip and separate the slits so that the strip has an easier time fitting to the shape of your nose, but after that, peel it off of the clear plastic and place it on your skin, smooth it down, and especially make sure to push it into the sides of your nose. Dry off the rest of your face and wait about 10-15 to 15 minutes or until the strip is completely dry. So one big difference between the black charcoal strips and the regular white strips is that the charcoal strips have menthol in it. So after you put it on your face, you might feel a slight tingly, minty, cooling, almost burning sensation. But don't worry, it's not actually burning, that's just the menthol doing its thing. So you know that it's time to peel off the strip when it becomes extremely stiff to the touch, like paper mache. If it's still not dry after 10-15 to 15 minutes, Minutes, wait in a well ventilated area, maybe with a fan on or something, to make sure that the strip dries. Now is the fun part peeling it off. So grab the ends of the strip and slowly peel diagonally upward toward the center and doing this will really help to lift the sebaceous filaments out of your pores. I love using the charcoal strips because the black background makes it so much easier to see all of the gunk that came out. So once you remove the strip, you can see all of the dirt and oil that was removed. Your strip might not be as filled as mine, but hopefully it took out a bit more than using the strip without the baking soda beforehand. 
So after you're done examining your strip, you might have some charcoal residue left on your face, but you can easily rinse that off. And what I like to do next is use an apple cider vinegar toner. Someone in my last video recommended this to me because it can kind of help to tighten up your pores again. So I took a spray bottle and mixed one part apple cider vinegar with four parts water, saturated a cotton square, and I swiped this all over my face, making sure to focus it on my pores. I noticed that using this really helps to keep my pore size to a minimum. The only thing is that it does have a very strong vinegary smell but don't worry you won't smell like vinegar for the rest of the day. After the toner sinks in I use my usual moisturizer but I make sure that it's non-comedogenic so that it won't clog my pores right back up. And that's it! I discovered this method years ago when I was looking up ways to get rid of blackheads and came across numerous people saying to use baking soda. So I tried it, but I noticed that it only made the sebaceous filaments pop out even more, so I figured that this would actually help the pore strip cling onto them better. Also, I don't want any comments on my skin or acne. I am totally aware that my skin is not perfect. I do have hormonal cystic acne and I am seeing a dermatologist, but a lot of my issues are genetic, so I can't do a lot about it. So please keep any negative comments to yourself. So hopefully you guys made it this far into the video. Now that you've seen this tutorial, there are some things that I want to clear up and some important information that I want to share with you guys. First, very importantly, these strips are not meant to be used every single day. Using the baking soda and these strips every single day will be extremely drying on your skin and that will just cause more problems. I use the pore strips usually about once a month. I also have very sensitive, oily, acne prone skin skin but using this once a month with the baking soda totally works for me and the last thing that I wanted to mention is that please remember that this method may not work for everyone some of you may be more lucky and you may have very small pores if you try this method and you don't really get a lot out it may be that you don't even have that many spacious filaments to pull out which is a good thing I'm just here to share my experience and my insights in hopes that it helps someone else and that's pretty much all I have for you guys today I hope this helped you out. Make sure to share it with your friends. Give this video a big thumbs up if you love pore strips and you love peeling it off and staring at all the gunk that came out of it. If you say you don't, then you are lying. I'm just kidding. Leave me a comment below on your thoughts of this video. Check out my other videos, follow me on social media, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!